right? There's some just for you suits. <clears throat> you don't know. I am very blunted right now. I'm about to get some water. I'm about to get some water. The Battle Royal. Figured I'd come on here and see what this Fortnite's all about. I know there's people out there that have been wanting to ask me questions, so answer questions while I'm shooting news. What the hell just happened? They're giving a movie now? What up, T-Money? The world will never be the same. Oh, shit. Brace for impact. Yo, what up, Rocco? Are you guys seeing this show? Season four begins now. Wow. <laughs> all right, nigga. Let's see what this season four is all about. Squads, duos, go solo. Solo, dolo. Season four. Let's see what they see if they got real quick uh, to buy. Any new things to buy. Okay. I think I might get that. I think I might get that, y'all. Two thousand. How much is that? Maybe like twenty bucks. Hold on. Hopefully, they don't show you my my money situation. I don't think I'm. I doubt broadcast is stupid enough to show that. It even even gonna go through. Hold on, Meg. I see Mega Noob wrote something. Vita Vea over Derwin James. Why man? Scary as D line. Though my birds gonna have some issues dealing with them. Yes, a lot of people are. You know, that's what I wonder too. Like Vita Vea, Vita Vea is the top at what he does, but Derwin James is at the top of what he does as well. But it seems like he he would be more more of um like he'd be more better. He'd be better. But is it because of his position or like I don't know. It's de it's definitely a sex the safe safety is definitely a a sexier pick when the defensive tackle you're picking is like a nose tackle someone that's supposed to eat up blocks not someone in like not a defensive tackle like a three technique like Gerald so you got that but I thought they were gonna pick Derwin James and they didn't Rocco seventeen seventeen said you gonna make a hold on what is up with this like can i not buy this hold on. there you go i don't know why it took forever all right i'm gonna get your comments right now Via Beast, Karina859 said, we were so close to Chubbs, fuck the Broncos. You know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't piss me off about the Broncos, except for their Broncos are not even using them right. 
Like, supposedly they're going to make him a linebacker. Like, bro, the Broncos are not using Chubbs right, bro. Like, whatever. Uh, didn't pick him at four. He said uh, he had a chance. But if y'all don't get there, it's going to be a wrap. Y'all don't get there. Uh, no, we picked up some corners too. We might, we might, man. I, we we talk about that in a little bit. Make a new. What do you think about Atlanta adding Calvin Ridley? I think Calvin Ridley is might be a better ru- uh, route runner than uh, what's the other dude they had? T- um, Taylor Gabriel. He's a better route runner than Taylor Gabriel, but he's not faster than Taylor Gabriel. I mean, it's a good ad, but I don't think it it does anything special to Atlanta that we're not used to. Uh, We picked up some corners and draft team money. Yeah, we did. I don't know what the F the Saints did with the trade, but whatever. Um, I I loved Marcus Davenport. I hope Saint fans don't think I'm trying to hate because I'm not because I love Marcus Davenport. I think he's going to be dope. But I definitely don't think he was worth all those picks. And I'm one of the first guys that they used to talk about, you know, Marcus Davenport and how I want Marcus Davenport. Like, nah, that's what we should make. I nah, will leave it like that. Alright, let's play this. Look, uh, let's see, I don't know what Saints did. Look. The NFC South is scared of our D line. I don't. I don't think they know. I don't think they know yet, man. Our D line. People, they gotta understand. It's not just Vita Vea, okay? It's not just because we have Vinnie Curry, and it's not just because we have JPP. It's because we have all three. Like that's why it's. We've never, we've had maybe a Vinnie Curry play with Gerald before. We've had someone like JPP play with Gerald McCoy, with Gerald McCoy. We've never had no one like Vita Vea play next to Gerald McCoy. But what I'm saying is Gerald McCoy has had one player maybe, but never two and never three. Like he's never had all these players like this around him. I feel sorry for the Panthers, LMAO, Cam's gonna hate to throw it. Shoot, I feel sorry for all of them. This D-line's gonna be nasty. This D-line is going to be nasty. Whatever's going on here. Um. I know MJ Stewart dog, like I said, if y'all don't get their VH3 and them boys food, wait, like I said, if y'all don't get their VH3 and, I don't know what you're saying, most likely Sanu will be in slot and Calvin Ridley, no, I think Calvin Ridley's gonna, bro, Calvin Ridley played mostly slot in Alabama, I didn't know that until I was looking at, um, so I looked at um, Auburn versus uh, Alabama, the Auburn versus Alabama game, just to see some some Carlton Davis. He was in the slot, bro. Like he was in the slot most of the time. Mm, 
The only one that can beat us is Falcons. They have a good passing game. <clears throat> I don't think Falcons is the best team in our division. The, Saint, the Saints are better than the Falcons. Damn, who the hell? No. Yo, did anybody see anybody? Like, <clears throat> uh, Saints have a good proven passing game as well, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think it's I think it's the Saints. The Saints are the better team. They're better than the Falcons. The Saints are the only team we would have to worry about. I mean, obviously, I'm not talking. I'm talking about if we're healthy. If we're not healthy, then obviously we got everybody to worry about. But if we're healthy, the Saints are the only ones that can give us trouble. Okay, the comet has struck. The map has changed. Explore and conquer. Okay, for new battle pass, new outfits, back bling. Excess with emojis, blah blah blah. Introducing sprays, leave your mark on the world. Okay. Yeah. Um, I had some other stuff I could talk about. What were you guys talking about in the beginning? Um, oh, so the corners. Let's talk about the corners a little. Well, let's talk about the draft, right? I'm here, might as well. Let's just talk about the draft. So the Bucks went and they went and got Vita Vea first round. Um, I honestly, it was funny because when the draft happened, I know you guys don't even know my reactions or none of that. When the draft happened, I was like, you know what? Honestly, like I would like to trade back. Like I, I'd rather take the chance with Derwin James and trade back. Like I'd rather do it. And. When we did it, when we traded back, I was like, yo, like, I was super happy. I really wanted that because I really felt like we needed more draft picks. So then I see Duran James is still there, and I'm like, yo, I wasn't even thinking Duran James was still going to be there. They're definitely going to pick Duran James. And, and they end up picking Veda Villa. I want to see what that is. They ended up picking uh, Veda Villa, or Veda Villa, I should say. Vita Vea, and um, I was shocked. I was like, wow, like, we didn't get Derwin, like, it shocked me. I really thought we would get Derwin James. Um, and let me say this. The one thing I didn't, the one thing I was thinking about when I was thinking about Derwin James, like, the, one, the only negative I could see by getting Derwin James was his... Uh, his outspokenness like he was basically oh that shit tricked me there's no that there's a thing here um his like uh, leadership i guess you could say or he's like the Jameis winston for the defense as far as outspoken he's he's the Jameis winston for the defense and it could have been a good thing, but I was wondering, like, would it be a good thing? Because, like, it, it seems like Quan Alexander finally found his his voice. You know what I'm saying? Like, Quan, Quan Alexander finally feels feels confident en enough to actually be the leader of the defense. And you know what I think? What I think helped with with that was getting DJ Ward. I, I think getting DJ Ward is what really showed him, like, yo, you're, like, not everybody's doing the shit you're doing. I could think him seeing how how much better he was than DJ than TJ Ward as a player, but know that TJ Ward got, like, all this publicity, 
Like, he ain't nobody, bro. Like, I'm better than this guy. Like, I thought he was, like, the superstar. But he, I, I think it really made him feel like, yo, I'm I'm a lot better than I thought. Like, I'm a lot more better than, than I thought because this guy's not even all that. You know? What the hell? Why did they make it like that? Um, I think, yeah, so I think it really helped him on top of that. And now he's, like, he's found his voice, and he's, like, I'm definitely going to be a lot louder, and nothing's going to, you know. He got control of the defense. Like, the defense is his. And I think, like, the only thing that could have, I'm not saying it would have happened. I'm saying the thing that could have possibly happened is that we get Derwin James, and they start clashing because Quan's like, I'm not giving it up. Like, it's my defense, and Derwin James thinks that he has to come in and be Jameis Winston because... If you're not in the Buccaneers building, you don't know. Like, if you're not in the Buccaneers building, the media doesn't think that the Bucs has, like, a, has someone for the defense. You know what I'm saying? But we know, like, yeah, that's Quan's defense. But only people that are in, in Tampa, y'all, yeah, I'm about to get shot up again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yo, I can't see, I, yo, I can't see nothing, bro. Let me just see what's going on. I still can't see nobody. So tell me what happened when the Panthers don't have a run game against us. Cam can't throw. Okay, so y'all still on that. About that Taylor Gabriel and Calvin Ridley comparison, you talked about your way off, man. Gabriel was just a slot guy, but with speed, no size. I, I agree. Gabriel, Gabriel was all speed. That's why I said Calvin Ridley is a better route runner than Taylor Gabriel. Taylor Gabriel was way faster than Calvin Ridley, so he could take the top off. Ridley got, can run all the routes. So he can be a, more effective in the slot because he can run um, all the routes. But it's not like he's going to take the top off. Like, uh, we have to worry about that, like uh, uh, Taylor Gabriel. I don't think, because they said that his hands have to improve. So... Like, it would basically be like having Ted Ginn without Ted Ginn speed. Basically. Derwin denied a visit. If you don't want to be a buck, we'd, we don't want you. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about, but I don't know if it was like a, he denied the Bucks. I think it was kind of like he denied everybody. He, he denied everybody for a workout and then, you know. Karina Cam finds a way no matter how to beat y'all. <clears throat> so you're acting like James never beat him. <clears throat> um anyway so anyways okay so let's get back to i'm over here watching these people anyways um okay so we got vita vea i was shocked that we get derwin james um but then after i realized i was like okay we don't have derwin james we got vita vea okay what does this mean and i i'm thinking about it i'm like this is basically, this is basically um, getting Quentin Nelson or who else? This is like getting Quentin Nelson for our O-line, okay? Quentin Nelson would solidify our O-line. Our O-line's not trash or anything right now. It's still good. 
but having Quentin Nelson on it would just, it would easily make it a top five. That's basically what we did with our defense, our, de our defensive line. Like, we just topped off the defense. Like, okay, now we just solidified it. So I couldn't be mad at it. So then after that, I was worried because I knew we'd get a running back. I knew we'd get a running back this year. And I was like, man, I don't want to get a running back in the second round. And the reason why I didn't want to get a running back in the second round was because uh, all reports were saying that we were getting Darius Geis. Everyone knew Darius Geis was supposed to go in the second round. I'm thinking we're getting Darius Geis. I, don't, I didn't want Darius Geis. I didn't like his highlight tape. I didn't think it was, there was nothing special about it. All he did was hit the hole hard. <clears throat> when he tried to juke people, he didn't get out of it. When he tried to break tackles, he didn't run people over and continue to go. Like, he was just, he didn't do nothing special. Nothing special. And I was just like, I don't know. No breakaway speed. I seen him get caught from behind. Like, I didn't see anything that was like, okay, this is why he's special. And I was like, I don't, I don't want him. I didn't want him. I didn't think he was all that. Um, supposedly, he had like an injured year or whatever. But still, I, I, whatever I saw is what I saw. I didn't like it. Um... So that's why I was scared about getting a quarterback in the second round. I was like, I'd rather just get like a corner, blah, 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 blah. So we're there and we get Donald, Ro uh, um, uh, what is it, Ronald Jones, uh, that running back for USC. I think his name is Ronald Jones. And um, I'm like, okay, well, at least it's not guys. I was, I was like, whatever, I don't care, at least it's not guys. And then I'm, and then before that, I was talking about how I wanted a running back we can play in like in like shotgun someone that we could just play in shotgun and and just decide okay we're gonna hand it off and catch people by surprise and they just they go could be a home run hitter that's exactly who we got at running back so I was like okay at least we got the kind of running back that I was looking for and really he I really do like his speed so I'm like okay we'll be cool with that now we need to start hitting on the corners because that's you know the the only thing that needs like from safety to corner so I'm like that's the only thing we haven't touched like free agency anything we haven't touched secondary so we need to start hitting that so then we go and we get uh Auburn the guy from Auburn uh, uh what's his name actually we got the guy from North Carolina first right was it the guy from North Carolina first or the guy from Auburn who did we get first, the guy from Auburn or the guy from Carolina? I think it was a North Carolina guy. He can carry the load. Yeah, he definitely could. Who did we get first? Was it the, uh, I think it was the North Carolina. I could be wrong, though. Was it the North Carolina guy, corner, MJ Stewart, or uh, Carlton Davis? I think it was MJ Stewart, I'm pretty sure. MJ Stewart was first, right, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> so we get MJ Stewart, and I'll... Let me try to it up real Okay, I just got that. Game. <clears throat> so we get Jay Stewart, but it, for some reason I have a feeling like uh, that guy Oliver was still there. The ones that the Falcons got, right? I think Oliver was still there when we picked the guy from um, uh, from Auburn. Anyways, long story short, once we picked one of the corners, I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, obviously we need more corners. So I was hoping we'd, we'd continue to get more corners, and we did. <clears throat> I don't remember which corner it was, if it was MJ Stewart or if it was Carlton Davis. But Oliver, that the Isaac Oliver guy from the, the Falcons guy, that corner was still on the board. And we picked the other one anyways. Now, I didn't know much about, you know, um, Oliver. I just knew that everyone has him, you know, has that corner rated ranked higher than the other corners. So I'm like, okay, man, I hope he get I hope he falls to us. So the whole time I'm thinking, yeah, he fell to us. This, we can get him. 
We don't get him. We ended up getting, I, I think we ended up getting MJ Stewart instead of him. And um, <clears throat> I'm like, okay. Um, they obviously have him ranked higher than Stewart, which I, at least that happened. Um, when we don't get a player that I'm looking at like that, for instance, I'm looking at Oliver. He looks like the, the, the best uh, corner that's on the board still. He looks like the best corner that's still on the board. So obviously I want to go corner. So obviously I'm going for that guy. Well, I hope we get him. He said that he's ranked to be the, the best corner. Then we don't. We get somebody else when we could have got him. I like that. Like, okay, at least we could have got him, but we decided, no, we want to get this guy better. Um, then he got took right before we were going to pick, and now we never know if that's who we really wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'd rather the, the best corner be there and we get somebody else. I said, okay, well, I know at least I know we could have got that guy. We obviously passed him for MJ Stewart. Uh, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, it's it's better to, to know, like, okay, we could have had him, but they liked MJ Stewart more for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> so, and then I actually like Carlton Davis more than MJ Stewart. Like, I like Carlton. I like Carlton Davis. That's probably one of my favorite. That's probably my favorite pick in the draft. Carlton Davis, Vita Vea, Carlton Davis. And there's somebody else. Oh, and the the linebacker. The line. I think the linebacker is dope. And I love that we're building, making our, our even our, even our backup. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Even our backups. Even our, our depth. Make even our depth vicious at linebacker because that season. scary <clears throat> last season man having both Levante and Quan out man was terrible it was so terrible <clears throat> I never seen like a position change so much like sheesh both of our linebackers out so that's cool that we're starting to get depth and even our depth is going to be dope because I like I really like him I'll be so mad if you don't make the team, man. I really liked him. Uh, Jack Itchy, I think his name is. Jack Itchy. The only difference is MJ went to a smaller school because he had some of the off-field issues. Plus, he played in a defense that was uh, um, opportunistic. That wasn't opportunistic, okay. Best pick was easily Kappa, three maulers in the middle. He'll take G, uh, Sweezy's job quick. Um, if, if that's true, man, if, I'll tell you this. If that's true, I, d I don't know much about the guy. If it's true and he easily takes Sweezy's job, if that guy easily takes Sweezy's job, just that pick alone is super value. I'll tell you that. If you really believe that he's gonna he, that he's gonna take Sweezy's job, I don't know much about him. I haven't I haven't even looked at tape about him or anything. If you really think he's gonna be that much better than Sweezy, where he just takes his job easily, yo, this was a very very good draft because we had to hit this draft. What we had to do was hit on make our solidify our defense. Either do that, either solidify our defense or solidify our O-line or, or get our secondary better, okay? And if we did all three, oh, shit. Wait, I'm all faded. I completely forgot about the damn storm. If we do all three, yo... Obviously, we solidified our D-line with Vita Vea, right? Shit, how do I get up? Hold on. We solidified our D-line with Vita Vea. 
if you're saying that he's if, if this guy's easily going to if you guys think that he's easily going to take over Sweezy's spot, then that means we solidified our O-line as well. We solidify our defense, we solid our solidify our O-line. Now, we drafted in the second round two defensive backs. Two defensive backs and also drafted a safety. We get two defensive backs, draft a safety, and undrafted, and we got two more safeties in the undrafted um, players. There's no way that we're not going to get a good safety. I mean, a, a, good, a good corner or a good safety. Like, we're going to get a good corner or a good safety out of this year. Our scouting team is way too good our scouting team is too good has our scouting team has shown for i don't know how long that they're good at finding people like quan they found quan they found ali marpet they took a chance on ali marpet you know they uh godwin like we're getting really good players that's why i was so excited for the second and third round and we got two defensive backs in the second round and a safety in the third or a safety in the in the fourth one of the two I can't remember like we got Quan in the fourth we got Godwin in the fourth we got Beck within the fifth I think like we hit like yo we're gonna hit one of them it's either gonna be a defensive back or it's gonna be a safety but we're going to get another gym out of one of those, whether it's an undrafted safety or somebody. Our, our scouting team is real good. Mike Mayer said his tape was the best tape of the entire draft. Raiders versus Bucks Super Bowl. Again, that would be amazing. <laughs> would you pay for Odell if the Giants released him? Hell no. Hell no. As a, Are you talking about as a Bucks fan or... Like, would I, as a Buck fan, would I pay for him? Hell no. But as other teams, I don't know. Other teams might need him more like, more like that. We don't, we definitely don't need him. Could we use him? Every team could use him. But I don't think he's, we definitely don't need to be paying that when we got Mike Evans. Whitehead is Revis' cousin, that safety we drafted from Pitt. Right. Yeah, you're right. He is. That's crazy. He's Revis' cousin. Whitehead can be a gym. Yeah, I, it's going to be one of them. See, this, I'm not, I could sit here and easily say, yo, we just, com we completed the team. I'm not saying that it's not possible. You know me, I'm very, very positive when it comes to my team. I'm not saying it's impossible that we found a gym at safety and a gym at corner, and <laughs> it's very possible. What I'm saying, though, is at the least, we got a gym at one of them. We're going to get a gym either as a safety, we're going to get a gym, or one of these DBs are going to turn out and be a gym. But what we're going to have a gym, like we, we're going to hit, like we're going to hit on one of those positions. And we know we solidified the defense, and we, and, and like I said, what homeboy is saying is like he's easily going to take away Sweezy's spot. That means we're solidified the O-line. Like this team is going to be tough, man. Jason, like this is why I don't get, I don't get why, like I don't like, I don't want Dirt Cutter to leave. I don't want to fire Dirt Cutter. I think Dirt Cutter's doing a good job. But I understand if he gets fired. I understand why people are okay. I understand why people are talking about him. I have no idea. I do not understand why people bring up Jason Light's name. Jason Light has done nothing but his job perfect, perfectly. Like, Jason Light has done his job, dude. Jason Light's doing his thing. I love Jason Light as a as a GM, bro. He's doing his thing. Look at this nigga right up there. We 
just hope nobody saw me. Where do you think Des Bryant is going? Oh, let me read that. Good draft because Mike Smith couldn't draft shit for Atlanta. Never did anything for ATL D-line. Left the team in shambles. And that was, a, that was one of the things that I said about uh, Mike Smith. Because when we hired Mike Smith, honestly, I didn't like Mike Smith. I, didn't, I really didn't want Mike Smith. I didn't want Dirk Cutter and Mike Smith because of what Mike Smith did in Atlanta. So I really didn't want Mike Smith. But when I sat there and thought about it, like, yo, okay, so, so what could it be that Mike Smith, that we could have different than Atlanta? Like, what's the difference? Obviously, we had Jerome McCoy. Atlanta didn't have anybody on the defense like, like a Jerome McCoy level, period. So he has, obviously, he has pieces. He has Jerome McCoy. He has Levante David. He has Quan Alexander. You know what I'm saying? He has some pieces. He didn't have any pieces in, in, in uh, Atlanta. And then on top of that, it was like, well, why didn't he have any pieces like that? Because of their GM. Their GM is what screwed them. Their GM sucks at getting talent. So I'm like, okay, Mike Smith is getting Jason Light. So far at the time, it wasn't for sure. But so far, Jason Light has been hitting with his talent. So, so far, Jason Light's been doing his thing. So I'm like, okay, well, I mean, it was easy starting off with Jameis and stuff. But still, he, he made the right pick. You know what I'm saying? And... I said, okay, well, maybe Jason Light will help him get ta better talent. And he, that's what he's been doing. He's helped him get better talent. But there's been one year where Mike Smith made the defense look dope, and there's been a second year where the defense didn't look good. So, you know, we got to see what that defense is going to look like. But, you know, last year was kind of, you know, the defenses looked bad. Looked bad last year, but it was more injury than anything. It wasn't like, oh, the defense wasn't working. It was more we didn't get a chance to see if the defense could, could start working because people started getting hurt. But like I said, he got one more year, and we'll see. He has to make something happen this year. Where do you think Des Bryant is going? Um, Giants. I don't see why not. It seems to be like that's where... It, He's trying to end up. I don't know. Uh, Raiders and Bucks are coming up at the same time. Don't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. Can't develop uh, talent, SMH. We'll, we'll, we'll see. LOL, GM wasn't the problem for Atlanta. Dude's still here, and Mike Smith isn't here, and the team is a damn stud. Uh, beefed up the O-line and the damn. Uh, you definitely beefed up the O-line, but I don't see... Your team is is no different from when uh, Mike Smith is there. You got a you got a old you got an offense and you don't got a defense. Like it's the same thing. It's the, it's the same it's the same type of team as Mike Smith. It really hasn't changed at all. It really hasn't changed, and that's because you have the same uh, GM. It's the same GM doing the same team. You guys got a high power offense and and a bad defense. Like you guys haven't changed at all. Super Bowl 52 champion Vic Beasley is a is B, Vic Beasley is a beast. Okay, Super Bowl that's Eagle Speed trying to Eagle Speed knows how I feel. Oh, shit, I think I just gave up my location. But uh, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be crazy. So let's see. So. So, anyways, I went through this story, and I didn't even explain why I went through the story. So, anyways, when we got MJ, I'm like, yo, we could have got Oliver. And then I started thinking about, like, like I told you, I'm glad that at least we had a shot to get Oliver, and we chose not to get Oliver, rather than Oliver getting taken and us feeling like, damn, we wanted Oliver this whole time, and then and we didn't get him, we had to settle for MJ. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we didn't settle. We picked MJ over him. Um... And that's basically like you just gotta trust. You gotta trust and believe in what they're doing. And obviously, I trust and believe in Jason Light and what they're doing. Um, and I was thinking about it, and it's like last year when the uh, safety from the, the the Raiders, the the safety that the Raiders got in the draft last year, um, Abu Abu Wai or however you say his name, I forgot. 
A lot of people liked him. A lot of people were looking at him. A lot of people, were like, oh, I'm still in the circle. A lot of people were like, yeah, you know, that's a good, uh, a good safety, blah, blah, blah. Well, we had a chance to get him, and instead of getting him, we ended up getting uh, uh, Justin Evans instead of the, the safety that everybody was talking about, the one that killed it in the, in the combine. And we ended up getting Justin Evans. And I was like, why didn't we get that safety, you know? Well, Justin Evans turned out to be better so far. So, you know, you got you to trust the guys. The defense was ranked eighth. Where was the Bucks again? The Bucks were hurt, though. Bucks had a bad year. Left my answer. What the fuck you smoking? Neil's the best safety in the league. Deion Jones ranks in the top three linebacker. Grady Jarrett is arguably the most underrated defensive tackle. Grady Jarrett only had four sacks last year, bro. Like Grady Jarrett's not even the third best defensive tackle in the uh, in the in the division. Like uh, you're, you Atlanta gets really hyped, and you guys are not like defensively. You're not good, bro. Like Deion Jones had a good year with the with the interceptions. That's it. Uh, Keanu Neal, he hits hard. That's it. Like he he's not a good safety. He's not. Like, he shut down uh, safety. He's not stopping tight ends. He's not doing nothing. He just hits hard. Like, the play gets caught. Like, you guys are really flashy. Like, that's, 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 the, that's, the, that's the Atlanta Falcons defense. They're really flashy. It's a lot of flash with nothing. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm queen. This is survival, man. I, I got to camp, bro. This is survival. But yeah, it's it's your de your defense is good. I mean your your offense is good and your defense. Oh, I can't it. Your offense is good and your defense is whatever, bro. It's not your defense is not good. Like Jared, Grady Jarrett is your your Gerald McCoy, but he's not even the third best defensive tackle. Maybe not even the fourth now that we got um, Vita Vea. May not even be the fourth best defensive tackle in the division. Deion Jones, they like to compare to Quan Alexander, but actually look at the stats. Look at Quan Alexander's stats and look at Deion, Deion Jones' stats. Only thing Deion Jones has is the, uh, oh shit, I gotta go. Only thing Deion Jones has is the um, interceptions. What is going on here, bro? It's just me and that guy. And he has no idea where I'm at. When you hate just to hate, it's pointless. They will miss Claiborne. They definitely will miss Claiborne. Got second place. Got second place. Got second place. <clears throat> yeah, but Tech's so I, I like Tech. Tech's good, but Tech's only one guy. You're supposed to have Tech and Claiborne at the edge. That's who you were supposed to have. Uh, 
this uh this thing's not that different not that much different anyways but yeah so i was happy that i was okay with uh, us getting mj stewart i was like okay then you know gotta you just gotta trust jason light i think i've already explained that just gotta trust jason light he likes him better than the other guy um but then when we get when i seen uh carlton davis when i seen like his size and how he plays i was like okay i like him a lot i like him a lot and let's just say this those two those two corners are both pick we got two second round corners one guy that's playing the outside i really think he's gonna start opposite of brett grimes carlton davis i really think he's gonna start opposite of brett grimes and we got another guy that can play that plays the slot that's saying yo vh3 step up we got a guy you better beat this guy or you better beat this guy and i don't even know if vernon hargreaves could beat both of them are specialists. One's on the outside, a specialist on the inside. Like, I don't know if, I don't know if VH3 starts this year. I don't know, and that's crazy. That could, that could be, if, if, if Vernon Hargreaves doesn't start this year, man, I'm more than sure a lot of people, a lot of people, are probably thinking, oh, Vernon Hargreaves, ah ha ha, first round, he's not starting. Blah, blah. It's funny because, yeah, he's a first round, he's not starting. But if he's not starting, then that means our, our, our secondary is better now. Like, if he's not starting, that means that they just got better. Like, he couldn't beat both of them. I like Vernon Hargreaves in the outside, and I like Vernon Hargreaves even better in the inside. So if he doesn't start, and those guy, those two guys are better than Vernon Hargreaves. One on the outside, one on the inside. I think that's my favorite thing about this draft. It's not really a sexy, it's not really a sexy draft. But if a few things go right, man, it's gonna be. It might be one of our most impactful drafts because it's it's like this team is getting stacked, bro. This team is getting stacked. That's really... We're filling up the holes we need to fill up. Oh, shit. Uh, dude said Neil is just a hitter and Jones is nowhere. Jones. Was dead before I could jump <laughs> Oh, Mega Noob, I have I haven't heard what you said, but your safety is just an intimidator. He is not for his he's known for his, his cover age skills. VH3 our our great corner RTP 2017 never gave me my props for calling his garbage since week one. Because he got hurt. You can't say he had a bad season when he got hurt. <clears throat> um, I forgot what I was saying, though. What was I talking about? Oh, we were talking about VH3, and if he, might, if he doesn't start, oh, that's bad. Uh, Okay, so we got the two corners, talked about that, the safety, uh, um, I, when I see the safety, I'm not like, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't get me excited, like, I, I, I don't know, I have two other safeties, undrafted safeties that we got, and I really believe that our undrafted players, I really believe that our undrafted players have a shot at starting before our drafts, like, like I, I, it would not surprise me. Like, and I, and I really don't care. I just want to shore up these two positions: the safety and the corner. Man, that's what we got to shore up. Um, who else do we got? We got the O line. We talked about that already. The linebacker. We talked a little bit about the linebacker. I like the linebacker a lot. I think he's gonna be perfect for like he. Do seems really athletic for a white guy. Um, I like him a lot, so I, I'm very excited to see 
uh, whose backup he's going to be. And hopefully we could use him for Kendall Beckwith. I'm kind of hoping, that's really what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping he's able to play inside and outside. That way, if anybody goes, like, I, I hope he's the first up for any position. Like, I hope he's good enough for that, but we'll see. That's, that's hard to do, to play all three positions. Um, Super Bowl Falcons losing week one in Philly, the world champions. Uh, let's see, what else? So, running backs dope. We talked about the defensive backs. We already talked about the safety. We already talked about the O-linemen. Uh, is there anybody else? Who else? The wide receiver. Let's talk about the wide receivers. Okay. We got the wide receiver. The wide receivers that we're getting, we drafted this one dude, I forgot what his name was, something Watson. Justin Watson, something like that. Okay, this dude is from some, some uh, preppy school or some shit, I don't know, some prep school. Um, and then we got an undrafted guy from Syracuse. And I believe we got a second wide receiver, uh, undrafted, a second undrafted wide receiver. I could be wrong. Yeah, we did. From East Michigan. From East Michigan. We got another guy from East Michigan. All of these guys play the slot. All of these guys play the slot. And I know what they're doing. They're trying to find... Uh, Deshaun Jackson's gone. Deshaun Jackson is gone. They're going to get Godwin. They're going to put him on the outside. And they're going to replace... They're going to have Adam Humphreys and the new guy, which is either our our draft pick or the guy from Syracuse, which I really like. He reminds me of Deshaun Jackson. I don't know if I doubt he's as fast as Deshaun Jackson, but he looks like he's fast. I don't know. But uh, either the guy from Syracuse, like one of those guys, he's going to be one of these undrafted or one of the drafted. But I really think that's the replacement. I really think they understood what they could have with Deshaun Jackson in the slot but they're not going to pay to Deshaun Jackson. No matter what kind of season he has, I think this is going to be Deshaun Jackson's last year. And they're going to want to put one of these guys in the slot. And they also got Bobo Wilson. So I really think they're trying to find out who's going to replace Deshaun Jackson. And, um, yeah, I think this is going to be his last year. Me, CDL10, he will finally admit it when he's done. Yeah, I, I have no problem admitting if Vernon Hargrove's a bust. I'm over here talking about him not starting. If he doesn't start, of course he's a he's considered a bust. He's a first rounder and he's not starting on your secondary. Come on. Of course it would. Of course he would be a bust if he's not starting for us anymore. Where's that chest? Dang it. It's above me. Change this up. <clears throat> yeah, I will have no no problem admitting it. Um, so yeah, those wide receivers I think will replace. One of those wide receivers is going to be the guy to replace uh, Deshaun. Which one? I don't know. That's that's one thing I'm excited to see in camp. I'm excited to see the DB battle. I'm excited to see uh, that that wide receiver position. Whoever's gonna be that fourth, whoever's gonna be that fourth wide receiver, or oh, let me get that fourth wide receiver or the fifth wide receiver. If we if one of those guys become the fourth wide receiver, that's that's crazy. Most likely it's gonna be most likely it's gonna be a wide receiver that's gonna be like the fifth wide receiver, right? The fifth wide receiver.
Alright, let's see. So yeah, um Yeah, the feeling of the This is it's it's very exciting. This draft is very exciting because it just we OD'd on DBs, defensive linemen. Oh, and a lot of our undrafted this is another thing, a lot of our undrafted free agents, there's more defensive ends and tight ends than anything. And our and uh, we drafted what fourteen undrafted free agents, I believe. I had a list. I had a list right here. I think fourteen. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, these are all of my drafts. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have thirteen. Fourteen undrafted and drafted players coming to uh, the camp. Coming to the camp. So it's gonna be a good camp, man. It's gonna be a good camp to watch and see. See, like I said, the DB battle, the safety battle. Even though we drafted a guy, like we got two. Hold on. How come a lot of people shitting on VHD? The only dude that kid that killed him was Cooper. Julio couldn't even burn him. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know why people are mad at VH3, bro. Like, especially after seeing Ryan Ryan Smith, they should have been like, oh, okay, we were wrong about VH3. Like, he's not as bad as we thought. Damn, look at that. I don't know why people are mad at VH3, but. It is what it is. Like I said, he's this is his third year. Um, I'm hoping, I really hope he doesn't get beat by both. I really don't. I really don't want him to get beat by both. Um, because this is the thing. If he doesn't get beat by what he what what VH3 is doing right now, he'll get beat by both. I think. I think he could get beat by both. But. If there's a, a Vernon Hargreaves that we haven't seen yet because now he's confident or comfortable and because he's the, his third year, blah, 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 maybe that Vernon Hargreaves will be out one of these rookies. And if he does, like I said, man, I, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, I don't know, man. I just hope the best person, I just hope that's what, what happens, the best person plays. How come along? Oh, yeah, I read that already. But, yeah. Our draft is basically not a sexy draft, man. It's not a safety, safe, sexy draft. But it was a perfect draft for us.
Yeah, man. I've been watching some tape. I've watched like some North Carolina games. Uh, some I watched the Auburn game. I watched I've watched some Pittsburgh games. Actually, I wanted to watch. In fact, I'm gonna put one on right now. Karina's, yeah, oh, okay, same thing. Right. Let's watch some games. Oh, someone texted me. What's my cousin yesterday? Let's watch. Yeah, we got some defensive ends, bro. We got this is our this is our un, undrafted squad. Strong safety Godwin Iguobuick from Northwestern. Wide receiver East Michigan Sergio Bailey. He's kind of whatever. Uh, strong safety Josh Liddell. He look look. He looked pretty dope. I, I want to watch some tape on him from Arkansas. Um, who to get? Defensive end Evan Parizo from Minnesota State. Now this guy, the only thing that you can find on this guy on YouTube is like him balling against against. Uh, I, I don't know if it's see. I don't know if it's Senior Bowl people or just check him out. And, and the thing is, it, it just shows that, but there's no game film of him because the school was so garbage. So there's no game film of him, but you know, he's someone to look at, look for, look at, I guess. So Georgia Tech, let's see who Georgia Tech plays. Then I can watch two people. Let's see. I wish I could watch defensive end. Let me see. Uh, no, he doesn't play him. Georgia Tech plays three people. Duke. I don't want to watch that because that's at the same time. Pittsburgh, that's not at the same time, but I don't want to see that either. And North Carolina. Dang it. Y'all have me dead with Neil doesn't have cover skills. Then this dude said Jones stats aren't that good yet. Jones in the lead. Jones stats. Oh yeah, Dion yeah. Look at Dion Jones' stats compared to to uh, uh um Quan Alexander bro. Can't take RTP serious when discussing talent in the South because the Bucks will always be the best, yet always make him look like a fool. So, okay, so are you telling me that Jones' stats are better than Quan Alexander's stats? Like, the, the stats are there, bro. The only thing Jones has is interceptions this year. Like, his stats were good this year over uh, Quan Alexander's, and that's because Quan was hurt this year. But look at the other two years. Look at Deion Jones's. Look at Deion Jones's rookie year and look at Quan Alexander's rookie year, and tell me how that looks. And then look at their second year. Look at their second year. Tell me how that works. Quan Alexander's numbers was way more crazier than Deion Jones his rookie year, but Deion Jones's year, like freaking, was like he was already a superstar. Like what the hell? Like, are these? I wonder what this is. 
Oh shit, look at there's two people. Let me get up out of here. Damn. Niggas everywhere. Shit. Damn, I ain't got nothing here. Dead. Kwan and Jones stats are extremely similar. Jones, yeah, more yards than the counter interceptions. Kwan has about 100 more tackles than Jones won. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Kwan's stats are all better than Jones, bro. Except for except for this year with the interceptions. And I think I think his rookie year, Jones, uh, Deion Jones had more interceptions. That's about it. That's all it is. In is the interceptions. That's it. Quan is definitely better than Deion Jones. To a two-year starter. I'm comparing, no, I'm comparing a year by year. I'm comparing his rookie year to Quan's rookie year, his sophomore year to, to Quan's sophomore year. That's what I'm comparing. I'm not comparing um, someone to someone, uh, someone older to someone less, uh, uh, to someone younger. I'm comparing their years as, as a rookie, sophomore, third year, fourth year. That's what I'm comparing. But anyways, yeah, so I really want to watch Georgia Tech, but I'm tired of what he only played Pitt, and I don't want to play. Uh, let's try someone else. He don't got nothing. Let's watch. Let's watch Arkansas. Let's see. Arkansas. Let's see who they played. They played Arbor, Auburn. Arkansas is what? What do they got? Arkansas. Strong safety. All right. Let's watch Arkansas and Auburn. Look at him. Defense is gonna look so different. Like that's crazy. Our defense is seriously gonna look different. Yeah.
<coughs> Just check Quan's rookie year to to Jones rookie year and Jones are our did him all the category sophomore year are similar aside from in interceptions. Just check Quan's rookie year to Jones rookie year and Jones outdid him in all categories. Sophomore year are similar aside from from interceptions. Let's see, I'm gonna go on here and, and hope that you're there you're right right now. <clears throat> All right, let me go here and then get you. Uh, let's go. Dion Jones stats. Where is it? <coughs> <coughs>